President of the Chamber for Local Governance, Dr. Richard Fiadomo, has described the choice of January 7 to celebrate the Constitution Day as misleading. He wants former President Rawlins to come out openly to protest the choice of the day. Ghana is marking the second Constitution Day of the Fourth Republic of Ghana on January 7, 1993. But for the President of Chamber for Local Governance, Dr. Richard Fiadomo, it is misleading celebrating this day on January 7th. If you want the holiday to be a constitution day, then if you should go back to the very day that Ghanaians by 92% referendum approved 1992 constitution, that was on the 28th of April 1992, that should actually be the constitution day. He wants former President Rollins to openly clear the minds of Ghanaians. I don't even think it's even the day that His Excellency even assented to it. The day you and I, Ghanaians, our parents who voted at the time, did that voting, that is when it should be. But the Minister for Communication and MP for our Blackman West, Osla Usekufu, disagree. They can do their theory. We will do the practicals. And for us, this works. For the majority of Ghanaian people, this works. If in their ivory tower it doesn't, they are free to write uh, articles and books about it. But for us in Ghana, and you can see people are enjoying themselves, we value the democracy we have. We will celebrate it. Ghana's 1992 constitution came into force on January 7, 1993, after the document was overwhelmingly approved in the referendum on 28th April 1992. A visit to some part of Accra saw several celebrating the day in several ways. But what really does the day mean to them? For the import of the day, as has been communicated to us, we need to understand we are celebrating the longest level of uh, uh, political stability in our history. Uh, that means from 1992 to date. Uh, Democratic rule has not been truncated, and it's, it's worth celebrating. The constitution defines the fundamental political principles establishing the structure, procedures, powers, and duties of the government, structure of the judiciary and legislature, and spells out the amendment rights and duties of a citizen.